Before we begin, I'd like to apologize in advance. My wisdom tooth pain means that I'll be dying more and more throughout the video, so I hope you find some entertainment from this or some humor for my suffering because the show must go on. All right, we are going over an incredibly light and premium 2-in-1 laptop. This is the LG Gram 16 2-in-1. Let's go over the raw stats. The Gram 16 2-in-1 is LG's premium tablet laptop, starting at a price of $1,500. But if you look online, you'll most certainly find it for cheaper than that. We're going to talk about it with the retail price in mind, but yeah, it's got some good sales. Now, how about that form factor? The LG Gram prides itself with being extremely light. And it is. Being around 3 pounds, the laptop is very portable, and as a result, comparable to other competitive ones at this price point. It is one of the lightest 16-inch laptops out there. However, at this price point, there also are a couple of other features that many would have liked to see. We'll talk about this in a little bit. Anyway, the laptop comes with a very solid resolution and great screen overall. Plus, it's got some super thin bezels to boot, and since it's a 2-in-1, it can either be used in tablet or laptop mode. So you've got some great versatility with this device. And speaking of versatility, LG pairs this laptop with its own stylus, which comes included in the box. Wow, nice job, LG. The stylus is very effective, using Wacom's Active 2.0 technology, which is by the company that makes professional digital styluses. So this one will be good for most users. Let's keep going. Connectivity. This laptop's actually okay in this regard. Now factoring in the starter price, I mean, yeah, not really, not really that good, but it comes with a few ports that will cover your needs. But as usual for most laptops, needs more USBs. And for the laptop camera, it's 1080p. So it's perfectly adequate for all of your needs. And now this is where things get a little bit convoluted. There are many different internal spec configurations with this laptop. Because as is typical for Windows laptops, there are just so many options, which can be a little confusing for consumers. This is where Apple takes the cake with its M1 naming. No one's getting that mixed up with M2. Anyway, I'm going to stick with this configuration, which is the 2022 model. It sports one of the newest Intel processors available, the 12th gen CPUs, which will provide great performance for this laptop. Although a dedicated GPU would have been nice too especially at this price point. But anyway, here are the benchmarks. And now for storage, again, a little bit convoluted. But typically the laptop will sport 512 gigabytes up to two terabytes with some actually not bad price increases. This is something I'm genuinely surprised about. LG is not charging much for storage. So if you find this laptop for a good price, definitely check it out at a higher storage spec. You might be pleasantly surprised. And lastly, the laptop runs with Windows 11. So what do I think of this LG laptop? Well, firstly, LG, you gotta get your website game up. Like I said, most Windows laptops have a ton of different options for consumers, but you need to make sure that they're advertised properly for them to be chosen. You can have the world's greatest laptop, but if no one knows about it, no one's buying it. So that's one thing. Try to improve your website UI to be more streamlined. But what about the laptop itself? Well, like I said, it's actually pretty good, especially when on sale. In regards to things I really like, its portability is fantastic. And the camera is good. Plus, the display resolution and size are solid. But for things I'm not fond of, the connectivity could be improved upon. And the starter price is a bit too high. Plus, it could use a dedicated GPU at that starter price. And in addition to those, here are some other small user complaints that I've also heard about. People have also complained about its screen wobble, fingerprint sensitive chassis, and very thin bendable frame that makes it look less premium. And on top of that, some thermal issues here and there, which yeah, are not great, some things for you to consider. But those are pretty small. On the flip side though, many people have talked about the convenience of LG's included device maintenance program. LG Smart Assistance. In addition, many people like the fingerprint reader, and also a very interesting feature called LG Glance, which tracks your eyes to prevent onlookers from catching what's on your screen. Neat feature, most certainly useful for some, but only you can decide if it's right for you. And with that said, who should buy this laptop? Well, put simply, the one whose needs are best served with it. If this laptop covers everything you need out of a portable premium two-in-one laptop, absolutely buy it. It's all those things plus more. But if it doesn't, there are many others in this form factor that you can check out as well. So overall, yeah, it's a pretty good laptop for its users. You just gotta figure out if you're one of them. My name is Cyrus. It's spelled like Cyrus, but not like C-Rooster. Just take out the tur. Thank you very much for watching and have a wonderful day. Peace. That is painful. I'm good though. I'm good.
I'm always good. <laughs>